All right, let's get this over with so we can fucking play Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> or Mike, Dimeo. last name Hunt. Both. <laughs> no, despite uh, um, thoughts about this in the past, this is not Hunt cast. This is Strength in <laughs> Gaming, and uh, we're back. It's been a minute. Happy New Year. It's about a month. Was on on vacation in the in the Bahamas, you know, hiking the Alps. We've been on a bit of a hiatus, hi hiatus. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we're back. We're still here. And let's uh, get in. My vagina readjusted. We're gonna we're gonna give you some video game news updates um, about. Uh, we got some fun stuff that's com um, coming out, like Bloodlines Two, Masquerade, and um, uh, we have State of Play to talk about. And um, Sal's hmm? cocaine addiction that we'll talk about later. It's <laughs> not a fucking. That's not even a secret. The I'll suck yeah, cock for fucking not, cocaine. Uh, this is your intervention. You're smoking coal. No, how does how did that one guy cry? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But uh, oh, that's yeah. how I'll be crying. That's the only way I cry, actually. It's, <laughs> uh, it, it's a slow buildup. It's not immediate. It's just like, <laughs> you know, like somebody's turning up the dial slowly. And all of a sudden, <laughs> so we, we, I'm here with Salvador Madrigal. <laughs> that was my mic check. And uh, Eddie Vargas. What up? How you guys Eddie, doing? The, Eddie the Machete Vargas. My bad. He earned that title. Yeah. Still uses it too. I still use the machete. He's, he's one still of them. Wipes teams with machetes. one of them stabbing Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's a, more of a slicey motion, but sure, like a hack. No, it's a hacking. Really, it's a hacking. All right. Um, but uh, yeah, and I'm Samson Lancaster, and this is Strength in Gaming. Let's uh, let's get started with the news. Sal, what do we got going on? Huey Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. And the news. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys heard, it was on the grapevine that Suicide Squad launched. I don't know, Eddie. Oh, the, game, the, game, the game got delayed Dude, like a year ago. A bed. What the? F <laughs> Eddie just turned into a bed. He like more. No, this is brujeria. <laughs> Why are you, what Dude, are you doing brujeria? You turned into a bed. That was hilarious. Who? You like you ducked down and and turned into a bed. Oh, I do that. The, the bed's not there anymore now, but it was there <laughs> while you were gone. It was like a prop <laughs> night. You have to watch this on YouTube's to to see the the interesting stuff. Yeah. Um. I almost so, died on that very bed when we uh tried the uh, death nuts. Death nut. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were trying some sexual shit that you shouldn't be at your age. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, the Suicide Squad came out and, uh, apparently they had sold like a, it was like a hundred buck, um, ultimate edition or some fucking bullshit that gave you right. 48 hours of gameplay or early, early access, 48 hours. And it ended up going down after 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We could just die, dude. Cause there was a huge fucking exploit in the game that, that would, um, just logging in would max you out, max your character out. Just the uh, main story would be completed. Oh yeah, that's what that's what it was. The main story. Yeah, the main story was completed, so that unlocked a lot of spoilers, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, it max you out pretty much. A fucking disaster, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta check. I think shit. that game People got were, wasn't that game delayed a few times. You well, yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was delayed. It. it was delayed a year because there were and then they fucking forgot it. to test it. Yeah, yeah they apparently. To try it out. It's like, ah, just fuck it. We'll do it live. That was a fuck it. We'll do it live moment for them. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, fuck, fired. turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> People were pissed, dude. It was like, yeah. They took they took down the, the, the purchase of the Ultimate Edition. And I don't know what they're going to do. They, they got to refund the people their money, right? Because, I mean, um. They, I don't know. Aren't you I supposed don't know. to get used to not owning your games anymore? Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. No, but there's yeah, still, if you're, 
It's still a contract. You get you own them digitally. Hours. Yeah. You you don't own them. No, okay. you don't, but you own what they promised you that we're gonna deliver, right? Yeah, they, forty eight hours of gameplay. They didn't and, yeah, if, if forty eight hours of gameplay, that's like what's owed, right? Like Yeah, that's what a lot of people because the fucking all the extra shit were just uh oh also the costumes and shit wouldn't work either. Yeah. So that whole pre order bullshit was <clears throat> There was nothing available. They were all fucked up. And uh, that's why you shouldn't pre-order fucking games, especially if they don't offer you any physical items. You need physical. Sal needs physical items. Yeah, dude. Like like uh, like all the Halo ones. Like you ordered the Halo Ultimate Edition. It comes with like a cool helmet and some other shit. And if the game sucks, you have a cool fucking helmet and a bunch of other shit. Same deal with with uh true. True, true, true. God, what's that? What's that one uh PlayStation exclusive with the robot dinosaurs? Oh uh, with, uh Sinking Aloy. Horizon. Horizon? Yeah. Zero that's... Dawn. I see a yeah. kitty cat. I saw a <laughs> kitty cat. <laughs> and I'm distracted. I think it was Oh there it is. <laughs> <laughs> say hi. You say hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> just like, just like <laughs> let me go I'm chunks <laughs> she's she over jumped. here uh so so with that one when you when you bought that collector's edition um the one that heather got had the the lego right the lego long neck and all the other oh shit. no that it's a that's a full fucking resin figurine dude and oh fully, is it like, oh, painted. Cool. yeah it's it's not Fuck. it's so pretty get, cool you get something it's cool like, yeah, the games it's, suck it, it, it's, oh yeah the game was cool. terrible it's like this big I would totally go grab it and show it to you, but it's like on the top shelf in her office, and that is not a good idea right now when I've been smoking and drinking. <laughs> it's a very bad idea. And you're old. Speaking of which, oh so, yeah. So, but yeah, right. like right, she even if the game sucked, you got that really fucking cool statue. In it. So that's why if you're gonna pre-order, make sure it comes with something physical and that you want. The game did suck. Yeah, it wasn't that great. <laughs> she it was very disappointed great. in it. Yeah. Like it wasn't. It, was it, wasn't, only, it like, wasn't a terrible game. If but you it was in the first one, then it would be new to you. <laughs> but if you played the first one, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah it was just things. like yeah, within just... a week, it was like just no one was talking about it. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like Starfield. There was really nothing. <laughs> you know, most most games, they innovate a little bit on the second one, the third one. They keep adding shit. This one was just, hey, it's a different map. Have right. fun. <laughs> Sounds familiar. No. Yeah. Wait, no, we don't even get different maps in Hunt. No, dude. He's like, hey, here's a new weapon skin. Eh? Here's the same eh? here's the same map. Here's with a, a really, here's with a really annoying um air uh atmosphere effect that everybody Oh yeah, look hates. look at our low res fire. Oh, it's <laughs> fun. <laughs> no, but um Kitty is wanting attention. Yeah. Just a booty scratch. And I think you know what? Uh I heard that uh people are butthurt about how they Apparently they did Batman pretty dirty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They did Batman dirty. Um, what else? King Shark. Something about King Shark. Um, and that was actually uh, Kevin Conroy, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Kevin Conroy was originally gonna voice. Yeah, apparently Batman. he uh, he's got a couple like games or this was one of the last projects he was mm -hmm. working on. But I think there's another one that that he uh, lent his voice for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. He's he's Batman, dude. He's That's forever gonna be Batman, chat. dude. Yeah, but um, but yeah, the the Suicide Squad one, and then they uh, apparently there was some controversy where um, Harley Quinn was was uh, sexually harassing Boomerang, <laughs> like they were they were stuck to some magnet, you know, like an uh, on uh, um Iron Man where he says lock hands and everybody locks hand and he. Shocks him. <laughs> yeah. So they were stuck and his butt was kind of sticking out and he was like, Don't do it, Harley. Don't do it. And then she kind of went through her um, should I, shouldn't I? So she grabbed his ass and they were all <laughs> stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, people were mad. Why is that why is that cool? But if a dude were to do that in a video game, then everybody would fucking die. And... Yeah, because it's a double standard. It's just it's yeah, just like it's how just... Armorant can show her vag <laughs> and say the N word and still be the top performer on Twitch. Yeah, that's because <laughs> she's hot. And if that was shit. if that was like <laughs> me showing my vagina, I'd be fucking insta banned. I, I would I would say, yeah, I'm not that good looking. 
<laughs> Your old um, uh, roast beef sandwich. Roast beef sandwich. <laughs> so with some mustard somewhere in there. I don't know why it's yellow, but that reminds yellow. me of that. One. It was before TikTok, I think, um, <laughs> where the the chick's like walking into the kitchen um, with a, like a bathrobe on, and she trips on a guitar, <laughs> and her like baloney plays the, <laughs> the guitar. <laughs> 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 That shit was really funny. But yeah, I did uh the game the game's fucking god awful. It's Yeah. I never played. I, I'm I'm not a fan of that Harley Quinn, the uh, Suicide Squad version. Um, oh no, no. You know, I like, like Margaret it? Margaret how Margaret Robbie played her. Margaret, I know it's the same Margo. Harley Quinn, yeah. But uh I'm just not a fan of the character. Yeah. No, Margaret Robbie's amazing. Um and if you haven't seen the Barbie movie, you should. I amazing. just watched it. It was delightful. <laughs> um, but yeah, Margot Robbie. But also, like, I still think my favorite is the original animated series. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Harley. Yeah, like, the classic just, Harley. The classic Harley. Yeah, she just... Hey, Mr. J! You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, just the, the, the voice and the and the true insanity. <laughs> like, her insanity... Like, I, the insanity from, like, the animated series I felt like was... It was so well done and so like subtle. Like you have to like double take when she says some fucking shit. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> Is that what happened? <clears throat> but yeah, I agree. Hey, mm -hmm. Barbie was better than Oppenheimer. Well, yeah, dude, it's oh. it's a. Oppenheimer movie. was like Oppenheimer 10 hours like, long. Yeah, it was like four no, hours. No, I mean, even if, movie. dude, even like, uh, I mean, Lord of the Rings is like three, the the uncut is like three and a half hours. You know, Interstellar was fucking long. And they were great movies. But, uh, I was so bored with Oppenheimer. Well, it's well, like, it was okay, I don't know if you but... remember the old school Lawrence of Arabia was like six hours. They literally took like an hour break in between movies and when they were showing it in theaters. It was an intermission. Two people could get up, go take a piss before they continued the movie. So, That's like, I thing. mean, this is a bit of a tangent now, but um, the weirdest thing about Oppenheimer was that sex scene. Hmm. That sex scene was fucking, like, I don't know. Awkward. It was extremely <laughs> awkward, which place. I guess is the point. I guess that's the point, but it was extremely out of place. That being said... Lawrence P was fucking hot, so yeah. I didn't really care. <laughs> but like, yeah, no, they were great, that's great performances were... yeah, all around. Flor but amazing it just... performances. Florence was blows. I was great. just too bored, man. I um, gave it two and, shots, and and uh, Tommy uh, was. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta Tommy. be into like period pieces to enjoy movies like that. They're basically a fucking documentary is pretty much what they're trying to portray. That's that's who he is. That's who Killian Murphy is to me now only. He's just Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> he's 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 a uh, uh, fucking not he's peaky, not the scarecrow. The peaky blinders. <clears throat> By order of the peaky blinders. <laughs> you know, he was in a in a movie called Red Eye, which was directed by uh, Wes Craven. Peaky blinder hat. And that's a unknown gem like a lot of people didn't watch it but it's a good movie what was it called sorry red eye with uh what's I that chick from it was the a murderer movies? right was a he's murderer. like a murderer yeah on a plane yeah i, ha I haven't i haven't yeah seen he's it. a great actor man no he is he is what's next uh, uh so this is probably gonna sink rock steady it's rip you think so that's like the second game no or that that's flopped yeah. this is probably gonna rip them they're gonna. I don't know who owns disband. them, but they're probably gonna disband them. Yeah. It's... Are they the ones that did it, the game? Yeah, yeah. Which is fucking crazy, right? Rocksteady. What was, what was the full title of the game again? Because it's like the second one. Or it's something. called uh, Suicide Squad: uh, Death of the Oh uh, Kill of the Justice League. Is mm -hmm. it a? It's a. It's a sequel, or is it like the third one? I don't even know how many games there were. I don't, I don't know. Those are movies, but I don't think this was there any Suicide Squad games before this. I don't remember any Suicide Squad. Oh, oh, I just remember, I remember the Batman ones. No, I remember now. It was that one where every, where everybody's just flying all over the fucking place, like Spider Man, right? That I could be I could be thinking of something else. Well, this one's this one's 
it's probably you probably saw this one because that's fucking that's old but yeah the that king shark floats through the air i don't fucking understand how a shark floats through the air but he's able to double jump through the air <laughs> and then harley quinn has um like this it's like a batman drone that she's stolen modded uh -huh. so she grapples onto that and that's how she gets around boomerang fucking disappears which is how he never used those powers like ever <laughs> yeah it sounds like they did it really did rocksteady do they make the uh batman game that one for the pc that was recalled and like never released um, it came out on PC. One. I think it was Arkham. One of the asylums. Arkham, uh, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. Oh, it might have been. It Arkham came out for Asylum. PC, and it was like really bad. It, like, really, oh, like, like, it was the port. port. It was a yeah, port. Yeah. Port. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say because Arkham Asylum. I know, was but dude, awesome. Rocksteady, the bully. It. Yeah, no, that, I think the only that like the first the bully two games looked good. I never Batman that. games were good. But yeah, Rocksteady used to put out fucking amazing games. I guess they're just mm -hmm. kind of phoning them in now. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, of the, a lot of the times it's because these companies are trying to keep hold of the of the copyright or whatever the series that they're... Yeah. And they'll put out shit just to say, hey, you know, we're still using it. So right, yeah, contract, just to hold on to the to license. Yeah. That's true. They do that with movies. Like, there's a couple movies that have been made, yeah, the, and they were never released. Yeah, they'll, they'll release some garbage and say, "Hey, we're still using it, so we, mm -hmm. under contract, we get to keep it still." It's same uh, same deal with Sony. Yeah, Sony keeping a lot of uh, a lot of Marvel um, characters, like Spider Man, for instance. Corporate, yeah, greed is killing video games. Yeah, same deal with with uh, EA and the Star Wars series. That's why they kept putting out fucking shitty ass mm -hmm. Star Wars games because they got to keep the IP. Yeah, it's, that's a huge IP. Yep. Which is that new one that's coming shit. out is pretty good though. Look, it looks good. The what? That new Star Wars game. Which new one? Um, I don't know. Well, I, I think I think I know what you which which one you You're mean. Thinking about but... the one that Jedi Survivor that came out already. No, no. There's another no. one that's coming there's out. A new yeah. One. There, yeah, there's another one that's coming they're, out. They're like you're a merc or something. Something. But um, yeah, that one looks good. Hopefully, it doesn't suck. Is it Outlaws? Uh, Star Wars Outlaws? No. There you go. I, no, it, I don't maybe. think it's a. Maybe Outlaws. No idea. I don't know. Yeah. I, the heist, don't know. No, no. Uh, okay. What else we got? Oh, we got the we had the state of play. Or the state of snore, as I like to call it. <laughs> Shit was boring, dude. It was a They're always of, boring. It was a bunch of shitty weep games that we already knew that were going to be coming out. It was like... All these uh, third the JRPGs, JRPGs, JR, yeah. JRPGs have become so fucking like, hackneyed now. Like Before, JRPGs I used to have... like, I used to have somewhat of a cool... You know, it's anime. They're so all hack and slash. They're, kind of just, they're all action RPGs. Well, all the new ones look way fucking more horrible. It's like... I don't oh, I, I, there's something that you reminded me that I, I want you to comment on, Sal, and that's that you fucking, you fucking slogged through and finished the Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh my god, I don't even want to remember that shit, dude. That fucking, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious, dude. Serious as a heart attack, dude. The, the game mechanics it's, it's, in that shit, but I mentioned it, suck so fucking bad. <laughs> Oh my god! And then the final sequence for the fucking game was like five hours long, dude. Yeah. I, I swear to fucking god, you get to <clears> you get <throat> to Sephiroth, and it's already been like three hours of you just working through the same fucking scenario, dude. <laughs> and then there's no respite in between. Oh, what? In between, you're just running to the next fucking battle. Next was, time we have Cat on, I want you guys to fucking battle. It was so fucking bad. The story was. Was kind of like, cool and all, like but you played for the story though, yeah. It's, like it's, what, it what, wasn't uh, worth the the playthrough though. It argue argue, which is god better. awful, dude. It was <laughs> so bad. As a bonus. It was horrible. And then, and then and then the way you get new skills is you kind of use your old fucking weapons that are worthless, pretty much. Even if you fully upgrade them, they they don't do the same damage as other weapons, right? 
So you have to literally fucking use them right when you get them if you want to get that the whatever skill it gives you. Why put it in a fucking upgrade system? I don't fucking understand that. Just leave that shit out and then just use the weapon till you unlock whatever, like the X slash the cross cut or something with with um cloud. But you get a like especially if the some of the weapons like uh, I think Aerith's rune staff is fucking hot garbage to use. And you gotta you gotta use it and do some area of like you have to do these challenges to unlock mm -hmm. progression to it. And then once you fully get the hundred you get the skill. Some of them were fucking god awful. It's like luckily the the demo well not the demo, the game. Whenever you pick up a new one, it gives you uh, points towards that weapon equivalent to your current weapon or, or where that, what level you are. So if uh, I think this one, it caps you at like 25 or something. Right. So um, it, if you if you if you get your shit when you're already at a certain level, it'll just give you the points. And now you got to do is just spec into it. But. Some of the challenges were fucking, oh my God, I got to stun this asshole and then hit him with some other fucking spells to get progression <laughs> or, or just spam the fuck out of, out of, uh, like, uh, Aerith skills were pretty much hot garbage too. Cause she has this little, like, Have shield. You played it, Eddie? I did play some of it. My brother and I played it. And I that was during the pandemic. I played it then. You should you should play it. Just oh, no, so no, you can I played. Be angry. I I know. I did, I did play the demo. I, I recommend playing it because this, I mean, just the story. The story. The story is great, and I mean the the hook is that you know they're throwing a little twist to it. So mm -hmm. I I kind of want it though. Like I, I seriously, I want to like. I feel like it's us three uh, and cat. So four people. I think it should be just its own separate episode of just this like a deep dive on a just final fantasy 7 remake final because, final. Final. because be i think whole i think sal will be shitting on it the whole time and i have no idea what i would think and maybe i'll play it right before we do yeah. it no i understand sal's view you know that is it it was frustrating at parts see eddie's eddie's very political man like it was the same way with cat except she was just like, you know what? Well, the, no. the whole, the whole, <laughs> we're not doing this. Here's the thing. It, it wouldn't be bad. The combat system wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for the stagger. Cause the only time you can really deal damage to any mm -hmm. fucking monster is when you stagger. Them. Where before the stagger mechanic used to be additional stagger. damage on top of which you could already do. Right. Yeah. That's what stagger was for. Yeah. It was, and it, it becomes Initial, stunned in a stun form and then you can do like 120 to 200 percent more damage because it's stunned that's a, and it's, this it, one i just the way that you described it and if i guess eddie can confirm or whatever i i it sounds that that mechanic sounds shitty but we probably shouldn't continue too far <laughs> that. Uh, and, yeah we were talking about the state of play um <laughs> well, i mean they're already like, um the new one the next one's going to come out again but it's, it's this week be, right is it? Yeah, it's in February. Oh, now. it's still it's not February. done. No, there's no, gonna be many? no, no. It, yeah, it's there's coming out three, like three three episodes or the twenty second. It's coming out the twenty second. Mm -hmm. So the third something, part something is like the that. Final part. I think and so. And then the third part is yeah, the final yeah, part. Think, but that's gonna be it's gonna be like another what four another, years? Four years after that, yeah. Well, it's every two years. I think they're gonna <laughs> be releasing. So in another two years, maybe twenty twenty six or twenty seven. Probably twenty seven. Is when the third one's gonna come out. Yeah. But anyways, um, what was I talking about? And then we could do. Oh, another... it's, it's also gonna be a PS Five exclusive for a year, like like before. So if you want to play, you looks like your, I gotta get a PS Five. Yeah, you're forced to get a PS Five. I was like, you can come, for you can play it over here. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so if, um, if Heather will let me rent out her PS Five, <laughs> use like, ass gas or grass yeah yep uh so at the state of play they f they showed off like a bunch of weeb games let's see oh, what was one of the ones yeah i got the list right well it was stellar blade it was uh it was uh the one with the girl's butt cheeks right here yeah, i very, got the list right here let's, let's go one by one here curvaceous um, butt cheeks curvaceous. they started off with hell divers 2 Ooh. And that looks legit because I'm a big yeah. fan of the first one. Yeah, Hell Divers. We too. still need to play that. We that's a game we should play. Hell Divers. Because, because Eddie said it like a million times and we never did. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I sent it to you guys. And, yeah, uh, you did. And but you know what? Mm-hmm. At this point, I mean, we might as well just jump on to Hell Divers too. Yeah, that comes out February eighth. Yeah. Um, and then they announced. Well, you know what? Um, now nah, let's let's move forward. Uh, Foamsters. I don't know what the fuck that is. That's like a, oh, that was, a uh, Splatoon wannabe. Yeah. Hey, right? wait, wait, wait. They're using foam, so let's uh, let's not let's not say it's a copy of of Splatoon here. <laughs> Okay, they don't have squids. But they're just trying to capture the same vibe, just, they don't, you they know, don't, just that audience. They don't use squid kids. They're uh, like VTubers or some shit. So first of all, they're <laughs> not. That's in the comeback. You're high. Once, once we talk about it's Power Worlds. Splatoon. So it's we're going to come high. back. I'm high. We're, we're going to come back to that that argument once we go. <laughs> we get to uh, Power World. But um, yeah, right. Leg- Legendary Tales. I don't really remember Able. what that is it's a uh it's oh a it's a vr, VR. one it's VR. a vr oh, one yeah my god yeah that looks it looks good like i want them to make shadow gate or or something like that in vr <clears throat> like the new the new shadow gate game that came out was was okay right but mm-hmm. i want it to be fully immersive in vr that would be fucking amazing but this one looks really good too the the legendary tales one um it's like you're um you can pick different classes and shit and you're delving in a dungeon a dungeon crawler. Yep. And it looks it looks pretty good, but um my brother has the, the VR headset for the PS5. Mm-hmm. He says, I can't even do that. I get so sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way, dude. I can't play like the motion I can't do play first person motion games. Well yeah, it's you have to have sea legs to, to really get used to I can't the, I gotta use or, that teleportation, the blank or whatever. You should uh, you should put one of those uh sea sickness sickness patches before you the play long, <laughs> long <laughs> ended <laughs> plays and shit. Yeah. I, um I think with that, that sword game that I play, mm-hmm. I think it uses the teleport. Well yeah, most of most of the VR games you can teleport or use the movement. I, I prefer Yeah, it movement. gives you the option to yeah. change, you know, mm-hmm. what kind of motion you want. Um, Metro Awakening VR. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you guys played the Metro game. It's set in uh, in Russia after no. World War Three. That's the zombie game, right? Uh, no, it's more like no Metro is not thinking. Yeah, I think it's something. Else. You're, you're it's you're literally running through the underground. I'm thinking about uh, the Metro zombie system. Par- parkour game. <laughs> I don't oh, know okay. why. But I don't remember the name of that for some reason. Uh, Dying Light. <laughs> Dying, Dying Light. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Heather liked it, but I, I, not Metro. Metro, I think, was one that. Um... Metro was a first-person yeah. shooter, wasn't it? Yeah, FPS. Yeah, like it was Met Metro, First Light, and then I think Metro Prem, Exodus and some other. Prem tried to get us or tried to get me to play it. I don't know. I was I I've been playing this game since fucking like way before. <laughs> Pretty much all the all the Metro games because they're if if you really want a, a good read, you should read the Metro series. It's, it's really fucking good. Like, of course, I can't read them, but I'll, I do audiobook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right it's on. a very fun read. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and this one's uh, the first Metro, and uh, it's in VR though. You're you're shooting, you know, like in VR. Which I think most most of these like single player games would would be good as VR because I mean, um, like the Resident Evil ones. Like I had Resident oh, Evil yeah. two modded to play as a vr game well, that was good yeah it was good the vr really mm-hmm. yep interesting and especially if your computer can handle the the high level <laughs> graphics in vr mm-hmm. it's fucking amazing dude and then now that the that the um the sw- the what's the name of the the meta headset that we have it has 90 hertz mm-hmm. quest the quest yeah the quest uh quest 2 is it i think so i thought it was yeah. 120. oh well certain certain games can do 120. Okay. but overall you can set it to 90 90 hertz which is kind of the the sweet spot right 120 if you can get it but like 90 hertz should be the bare minimum to play a game in vr you get, you get seasickness sickness. yeah you get motion sickness really bad even at 90 hertz you'll still kind of get motion sickness but it's not as bad as it the lower stuff you and, right. and that's yeah. that's oh, that makes because the input of what the you're seeing isn't keeping yeah, to up the with what it would feel mm-hmm. like in real life if you were moving around yeah 
Yeah, so I'm sure running running this at 90 hertz is probably going to be amazing because you'll be uh, killing. They have these giant like rat things that are in the sewers inside the (laughs) metro as well. Like these big ass gargoyle monsters outside. If you want to play a good game, you should try out the Metro series. They're they're fairly cheap. Sometimes you can get the whole bundle for like twenty bucks. It has all three games and shit. But uh, the, give that's that a the, shot. This, these are I'm surprised they're putting out a lot more VR games in the, on the on the v, on the PSVR two. Yeah, it's gonna definitely get it more popular. That's uh, yeah, that's yeah. Like my brother who doesn't do VR bought it. I was like, oh, that's fucking crazy. Because normally he's like a sportsman guy or he, a PC player. Like he he plays like. Does he have all the Fifas? Uh, no, he does more like Madden. Oh, it's it's Madden. Like oh, okay. Um, it's beginning to brain. <laughs> that was that was one of my favorite things from the, the Genesis. Oh yeah, NFL. It's the beginning Genesis. to brain. <laughs> 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 um, you can look it up. There's sound bites of it on. On the YouTubes, uh, Zenless Zone Zero. That's a gotcha game. Um, it's Sal. That's all it's you. It's already it's already been out on the PC, I think, and it's just coming to the PlayStation. And those are fun games. Um, it's I think it's the same ones that do um, Genshin Impact and MiHoYoVerse. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's probably probably, probably same. free. Well, yeah, all all of their games play. are are well. It's free. The, the you know the first taste is free, and right? They, <laughs> they get you. That's how they get you. So that's how, yeah. So you get like a bunch of pulls to get one of the five star characters to begin with, and then it just becomes like obscenely fucking grindy. Nah, fuck that. But but I don't have time for that shit. They're fun till you hit that wall. Right, so you can just probably play it because it'll take you through the whole story. Oh, no thanks. And and then and then it'll get grindy after that. So it'll it'll carry you through the story, which some of the stories are 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 fun and all, but after that you're pretty much like you're either addicted or you're not, right? Yeah, yeah. No. But yeah, that's uh, I tried it and I was like, yeah, it's not for me. Just, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with the gotcha games. It's, um. Dave the Diver, coming to PlayStation. Uh, well, no, uh, Dave the Diver is already there. It's uh, it's uh, it has a Godzilla um, oh, DLC. Is that what it is? It's a <laughs> yeah. Godzilla. Okay, Godzilla no, DLC. Yeah, there it's was like some controversy with game. Dave the Diver recently, right? It was like, uh, um, it Dave's... won like a indie indie game of the year for the Video Game Awards, and it turns out that they're backed by a larger company, so they don't really qualify as an indie developer. Uh... Yeah, that's like, probably the, the way it works. What's it called? Ubi, mm-hmm. Ubi. Yeah, Art Ubi, or... Ubi Art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, um, it's an indie company. No bullshit. It's not an indie company. V Rising. That's a that was a PC title, right? Coming, yeah, yeah. Coming it's to coming. PlayStation. I heard it's really good. It it looks fun. That's the vampire. Game, right? that's yeah, a that's vampire the vampire game. one. Yeah. I'm, uh, I think Prem was playing it. Yeah, um, he so. was. He was also telling. He was doing. He was it. doing. He was doing early access though, and it was very bare bones at that time. And I was like, I'm not interested. I'll wait till he like they add it. more shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, from from what I heard, everybody really liked it. It was it was good, but there wasn't much. I mean, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Get, uh, playing early access. Yeah, I made that mistake with the forest too. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, it was bare bones. Soured your experience. I got through it quick and. Yeah, I should have waited. Yeah, that is, I think now it's in full release, so it might be yeah. worth the play. You know? Yeah, it is. It's they it added so much to it. PvP in it, vampire mm-hmm. versus vampire. Um, Judas. Yeah, that's uh, that's it's within the the um, the bio. Uh, what's it called? Bioshock. Bioshock. Bioshock universe. Oh, really? Yeah, like a spinoff. Like a spinoff, something to, something to do with Rapture, yeah. Oh, that might be good. It's like, why not just put out another fucking bio Bioshock game? Why yeah. you guys got a fucking cock tease? Oh, look Booker at this catch. is Rapture. It's like it's a fucking Bioshock game. But you know, that's like a game. All off did they ever do a remaster of Bioshock? Yeah, they yeah, they did remasters. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I miss those. They're all available. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you can get them all on Steam. 
But yeah, they did. They're remasters, though. They're not like remakes. they're not remakes. Yeah, they're yeah, remasters. They're just it's upgraded just original, graphics. And shit. Yeah, upgraded graphics. Yeah, Bioshock I, I deserves a little Steam. a little love. But yeah, they just keep doing cock teasing and shit. It's like, hey, look at a uh, psych. <laughs> it's not a Bioshock game. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, they, they play with your nipples and they don't finish you off. Finish you off. Uh, oh, they they had they, they shut off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nipple tease apparently. Yeah, uh, Silent Hill game. So, yeah, speaking Silent of cock teases, uh, Silent Hill. <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, they're releasing a what is it a free game? Yeah, it's called the short. Their short message. message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, um, apparently that's already out, right? It came out uh, the same day yeah, as yeah, the yeah. Uh, came out the same day, and yeah. I haven't heard anything about it. Is it it's good, it's bad, dumb. It's yeah. dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. I mean, graphically, it looks, it looks somewhat cool, impressive, but... but the girl was annoying, dude. It immediately started annoying me. I was like, All right, I don't want right. to play this. Just show me Sal, some Silent Sal Hill too. A, a misogynist, and you can't accept women as no. <laughs> Jews can be annoying too. Yeah, <laughs> Equal and apparently, uh, Konami's also uh, doing a remake of Silent Hill Two, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which. I didn't find that impressive uh, graphically. It didn't it was, look good. It didn't it it, look. Yeah, good. it did. It, did. it looked. Like, it looked like the PS2 version. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, gonna be worth the seventy bucks when it comes out. Nah, dude, it doesn't. It's like what? I'm Usually, so like their on... improvements, they're they improve on them tremendously. On the lighting, dude, the lighting was terrible. Yeah, I'm still stuck on Sal saying that the main character was annoying. <laughs> like is it like in in borderlands i think it was two or three or whatever the one where you had the robot where they introduced the robot character the like assassin robot um every time he does anything he makes some fucking repetitive oh yeah rep. zero he zero. makes a haiku oh, oh god that he was the like, he does most a haiku. annoying thing what game was that face of the planet because he would say the two. same thing oh, oh, over yeah. and over and over again like shut up! I just want to play the game. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, the worst thing that those games are way repetitive. Did. They they are, and that's the problem, right? Like the original one was great. Some of the the DLCs were great. I think in the second one was great too. And then the, my favorite, I think my favorite DLC was uh, Tiny Tina's uh, assault on Dragon Keep or whatever was mm -hmm. in the second one. But after that, it was the oh my god! Oh, yeah, I stopped game. playing after the that. The third one, the third one was not good. I played, yeah, we played the. I fucking muscled through that one. one to finish it, and I was I like, I played the latest one. Heather and I did, and we were in the like the medieval area, and I was expecting like a like medieval action fighting, like with uh, the um, dragon keep. But no, it's just like you're just shooting. A, it looks like a crossbow instead of a gun like this is <laughs> fucking stupid like anyways sorry, yeah no those game. games are way too chaotic for me i could like it's a time waster for me chaotic that's but all this, yeah it's just a whole lot of nothing going on it's yeah it was so going on. hashed out same fucking bullshit as before and it's right no, exactly no improving it on the story the characters were exactly the fucking same it was copy paste pretty yeah. much yeah yeah every fucking time um, but going back to Silent Hill, uh, yeah, they, they didn't look good. Um, yeah, no. For a didn't. remake for a P, what PS5 or what a modern remix. Yeah, it, it just didn't look good. It didn't like look the like Resident Evil Goggles. Four on the GameCube looked better. Yeah. Yep. Remember when they redid the original Resident Evil for GameCube? Mm -hmm. Oh, zero. Yeah. Oh my God, it was oh, so yeah. good. I'm just like rem just remembering that like being one of the best. Yeah, it improved games. on the on the gameplay and it made it look better. Yeah, but it was also like a almost a remake too. Like it had yeah. it had they had an added stuff and it was fun. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, that I was know. nostalgia goggles. That like no, this is this is what the original looked like. It was this awesome, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it felt like. <laughs> yeah, that's like those Silent Hill games, if they wanted to remake them, they should make them all third person. Yeah, that's more claustrophobic phobic you hear, claustrophoric. You, yeah, you claustrophoric. You hear the um, you hear the radio. You really there. like being in tight spaces, huh, Sal? Yeah, you start you start hearing the static and it's like, damn, did I shit myself? Yeah, I think a lot of gamers Better turn their check. back on Konami. They're done with Konami. Yeah. Yeah, um, Konami. Ever since the Metal Gear 
kind of fiasco. Shit. Yeah, people, dude, they fucking people are kind of done with them. Uh, uh, oh, they, they had a Sonic and Black this, Sonic. Yep, generations <laughs> announced. Well, I don't know why they keep making these games. Devin always gets people mad buy them. Shadow Black Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because he has a tattoo of yeah. both of them. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, I mean, the bundle ones where they have like all the games and shit are always fun, right? Because it's nostalgia goggles and shit. Like well, that. yeah, the 2D ones are, I mean, they're good because I don't know, for some reason, the the whole running mechanic is yeah, works a lot I, better. I, I think but this in one 3D, it just doesn't work, man. You can have multiple fucking players in it, kind of like the the new Mario game. Where you can have multiple players in it. <laughs> and he's like, "Give me back my couch original. co-op." Who the fuck make couch co-op great again? <laughs> <laughs> I love couch co-op, but uh, yeah, we uh, not our generation. Sonic. Our generation does like I as much as I I love just being remote all the time and and just playing video games at home. Couch co-op is still yeah. There's something king. about you know. Being there physically with, you know, it's good. Sam friend. likes being a filthy meat gazer. Yeah. Well, that too, but it, it, it is, it is, it, I can also, yeah, you're staring not, at chorizo. It's, it's not, it's not just the, the meat gazing, Sal. It's also the, the fact that I can manipulate people in, in present company because I can use my, uh, wit and charisma to charm them <laughs> or annoy yeah. them. He <laughs> always rolls a one and, and, and roll a one. Yeah. <laughs> But then I just play um, odd job. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> uh, Dragon Dogma's Dragon's Dogma Two. Never played the first one. I never played the first one either. But apparently, it's like some cult classic. Well, it's like it's, I feel like that's another dev. I feels thing. like it's well. It feels like it's Monster Hunter set in like medieval world, hmm. like old school Monster hmm. Hunter, where yeah, your positioning and everything mattered like a lot. And it was um, clunky. Uh, I never played old school monster. Well, no, that's not true. I had that that one on PSP, and I played for like four hours or something. Oh, four yeah. hours, right? You know um, that that <laughs> the the PSP is worth a lot of money now. Is it? So it was the uh, the God of War one that we got him for his birthday. Interesting. Uh, stellar Stellar Blade. If you ever find it, you could probably retire and get some cocaine and hookers. <laughs> that Stellar Blade one, uh, nope. That That's one, not... another of one of those uh, yeah, it was a third Wii party game. action games, right? Yeah, it, is, it, it does not interest me at all. Um, all it until is until dawn. Like... Oh, go ahead. What? Oh, until dawn. Oh, that's a remastered game. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The the original looks way better. Than that you think so? I didn't have a yeah, lighting, the lighting's a lot more moody on the old one. <laughs> I did not. I have think it is. I think that some. You know what? Sometimes the limitations on the, uh, mm-hmm. on the game system creates like a special, like a better. Yeah, because like, they're ambient. trying to they're trying to be realistic lighting with the new one, and I was like, uh-huh. it changes it changes the flavor of the game. Yeah, it does. Bro, you're you're smoking crack. I'm stuck on that. On something else, Sal said. Now you did not. I, I did not have a God of War PSP. It was a red one. No, I, I remember didn't. this. Yeah, I've never. Had, was it a red one? Or was it a no, silver one? It was silver. Like, silver. I, I silver think it was a silver PSP. one. Yeah, the silver one. But it was a uh, the. I think it was some I, special edition one. I think I'm pretty sure it was the the God of War one. The God of War ones are all red or black. Is it? It, definitely it was, was a silver one though. I think it was silver. I don't know. It's been it such silver, a long time. But anyways, PSP. I would have looked it up. It was a it was a special edition one. And oh, all wow. those, all the old special edition ones are worth a lot of money. If you can well, find it. I, I think, yeah, these are worth like 200 bucks still. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. You can get hookers and blow with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. damn it. But yeah, un- that Until Dawn remastered um, trailer look, I did not like it. I no. Like, um, the, the I own the, uh, the original one, the PS4 version. Uh-huh. And, uh, it was a good game. I liked it. I played it maybe twice. I went. I played it to see yeah. if I could get a different ending. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun. And then uh, uh, let's see. Let's they showed the uh, rise of the Ronin. Oh, that's, yeah. that's Tenchu. It's fucking Tenchu. You're just a samurai. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they keep fucking with us like that? Just release Tenchu already. <laughs> yeah, release it. 
I miss they, they, Tenchu. They keep I mean, fucking Sekiro, tap dancing around it. It's like, Sekiro oh, look, was, it. it's almost like Tenchu. It's like, Sekiro oh, look was it. Tenchu, but also Dark Souls. I yeah, know this one looks exactly Sekiro's like Tenchu, dude. Cool. The, dude, it was so good. The butt so whistles good. and everything. <laughs> yeah, the butt whistles. whistles. You know what my favorite game was of that era? Bushido Blade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, that was good. The realist, realistic, you know, like two hit sword fighting or whatever. That was really cool. I like Bushido Blade. Um, Death Stranding Two. Yeah, they showed they showed off a lot of it. A yeah, lot dude, of the story. Like, Kojima always fucking he's extra. Like he yeah, always he goes is. in deep. His <laughs> like, his trailer was ten minutes long. Yeah, yeah, he ate up most of the fucking time. <laughs> But it's he deserves Kojima. it, man. Of course, he gets the ten minutes. That was a creative guy. But well, here's the thing: that was just the intro to the game, and then he went on <laughs> to talk about the movie. Yeah, they're making. Yeah. Is so it a movie like or another... is it a game? No, there's a movie, a movie as well. Out. Yeah, it's two. It's a game and a movie for uh, Death Stranding. Yes, I don't think it's. Is it for Death Stranding? I know it's something that he's doing. He's, something. he's coming. He he announced a new espionage game. Oh, maybe it was just maybe it was just a rumor that which is uh, people were thinking it's a Death Stranding movie. I'm not which sure. is supposed to like cross the line from like or blur the line between video games and film. You know, it's funny. I, I have the website up on my other monitor, and I'm wearing the exact same shirt I was wearing the last time we recorded. <laughs> it's because you don't never shower. To, to be fair, I have oh, three, like like three of these for some reason i think they were volunteer shirts <laughs> right um but it's supposed to be like a successor to metal gear yeah so people it's, believe uh spiritual successor spirit. i'm sure he had a lot of ideas of where he was going to take metal gear and then when they put the kibosh on that shit he probably he's probably spinning that as his own like world right probably yeah Fucking konami copyright man. What if he takes Kojima like um, productions? Like takes, they literally Splinter the Cell. What if he takes Splinter Cell and applies like all the Metal Gear shit to it? Yeah, and just pisses off Konami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. He's like, because he's he's notorious for going over budget. Yeah, that's true. Yep. You know, and that's why Metal Gear Solid Five was uh, uh, incomplete because Konami literally just pulled a plug. They're like, okay, you're you're done, dude. Yeah. It would have been a masterpiece, though. Well, it, yeah. It's a masterpiece as it is, you know, but it's <laughs> if They would have let him finish. It would have been amazing. That's what they I'm didn't, saying. They didn't, have, like, they didn't have faith in him. It's probably what it was. Maybe. Just, they or maybe Konami else. already had a plan that they wanted to pull out of the uh, video game industry could and have been the Yakuza. focus on pachinkos. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah, pachinkos. Dude, it could have been the Yakuza, man. Maybe they were like, no. Well, that... Game companies in Japan are very conservative when it comes to their money. Companies very in con- Japan in general are very conservative. Oh, that, that too, yeah. So yeah. they don't they don't tend to take risks, even if they have somebody that's always proven themselves. Mm-hmm. There, there's always in the back of their mind, "Oh, this guy's gonna fail and sink my ass." Nintendo don't. Yeah, yeah exactly. They just <laughs> give them a blank, a blank check and let them go to work. They don't. They don't deviate that's, from. That's what Ko- Kojima needs. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's like what that's what they do with Christopher Nolan, wanna, man. You want to make if a movie? I, if, if I had that the money kind of want. money, I would. I would just say, dude, here you go. Do yeah. whatever you want. If I was a billionaire, I would just be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you want to make a Unlimited movie here? Budget. And you want to make a? Bankers. You want to make a game about ninja marshmallows? Here's even more money. Mm-hmm. Have at it. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? Uh, yeah. but uh yeah that's the uh that was a state of play oh that was a state of board or uh sitting news. through it was like oh or january God. which is kind of boring you what what happened on this show is more entertaining than watching that dude taking a dump is more entertaining than what we watched <laughs> it was yeah. a bunch of shit we already knew we already knew it was coming out not no real new trailers came out uh, uh, sony's been Lacking Silent Hill games, was probably dude. one of the only new things that they showed. the The Capcom um, Dragon's Dogma trailer was already been out. It was like it was a lot of third party stuff, and not if any any first per- party shit. Right? There was nothing first party. Nothing. Nothing. It was all. Third all they party have stuff. is Death Stranding and Final Fantasy VII. 
That's but those all, are those are only PS5 those are has, like game a game exclusive quote unquote right right, but it's yeah everything that's already been announced that they're just showing off old trailers and shit. I was like, okay, yeah, that was. They need um, a new uh, uh, little big planet. In my that opinion, game, the original game was amazing, and the second one too was pretty good. Yeah, no, they're fun. They need something that's a console seller, though. They don't have nothing. Well, consoles are consoles. PCs can do everything. Why? Why consoles? How? <sighs> yeah. Make PCs affordable or something. I don't know. Yeah, make consoles what else do we got? Again. Uh, let's see. Where we got? Oh. They uh, released... Vampires. Yeah, they released uh, another trailer to Bloodlines 2. I thought this game was honestly done. I thought it wasn't. They weren't going to release it. I thought it was canceled completely. Like, yeah, they, yeah, because they 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 delayed it last year or was it the year before? Because um, I think they did some alpha testing and the game was god awful. People were uh, telling oh, this is garbage. Yeah, I mean, and then they showed this trailer like the other day, and I was like, oh, that doesn't look too bad. It looks like they changed the story around, and then the the graphics are a lot better maybe they changed over to the unreal engine 5 is probably why it was getting delayed so much mm, that makes sense but yeah it looked it looked mm-hmm. it looks good this from we saw only story though it was just a story trailer there was a little it, bit of uh combat did very fucking little and that, that could be all I scripted thought, shit I, yeah that too but it, the, the whole feed um animation was kind of silly because it was like you just like ripped their throat out. You didn't fucking feed, mm. drink any blood. There's no well, way that you tasted their blood and threw them. There was that that um the battle royale um, vampires game that was recently shut down, and that's the same way you fed on that one. You kind of just run up to them and you just slash them. It's like what? Yeah. That's not how vampirism works. People. Well, that's how Kane does it. He just sucks it out from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I was a fan of the first one. Yeah, and... I didn't like the ending. I fucking hated the ending because the ending was just a screenshot. Hey, <laughs> you became yeah, an antediluvian. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, and maybe like looking back, it wasn't such a good game. Like, I think it was a, there's a, there, it had a lot of flaws. I but mean, uh, really I don't know. Maybe it just... to be a really good game because a Vampire the Masquerade is just such a great universe. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect to... Just make an MMO out of it. That'd be great because you got the Lycans, you got the Nosferatu, the the Ragabash, and all the different fucking factions within the the werewolf clans and the vampire clans. And then if you throw in the magic stuff as well, yeah, you could throw in mage, you can throw in fey, you can throw in wraith, you can have everything. Yeah. Like expansions. you can have so many different species. Now, yeah, an MMO, a White Wolf MMO, would be something that I'd probably play if they didn't fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to make it good. Like, I'm tired they, of cookie cutter. never made a good one. I'm tired of cookie cutter bullshit MMOs. That's why I don't play regular MMOs anymore. Mm-hmm. Only spreadsheets and space. But yeah, the, the whole the whole system could be robust and just copy and paste of, of the fucking uh, tabletop shit. The book stuff. Just I agree. M- make it into a game. They could have done that with Cyberpunk, but they fucking shit the bed on that one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it Cyber took punk. years for it to get into the state where even Sal's still like, it's breaking my immersion. <laughs> oh yeah, it just it still has bugs. Even now, it still has bugs. I think they they recently released the last update, didn't they? Yeah, that's it. You get you get whatever whatever it is what, what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> They're moving on to it's, other things. Still There's not. Still- like the expansion the expansion with uh the just there was a phantom phantom something or other it was okay it wasn't great it was okay and it's it there's deep flaws in it that they can never fix like the they made the ai slightly small smarter but it's still stupid as fuck it'll just stand there taking shots to the face (laughs) and there's nothing they can do about it because that's the engine the engine is is fucking so old that yeah yeah, it's like 
it's like you're using the engine from um mass effect one Oof. <laughs> that's how old the fucking engine is it's fucking ancient fucking engine that's why you can't do much with it uh but what, what else oh we got a power world and the, uh, and, and it's yeah. many controversies sal is playing power world sal is playing power Sal's yeah, day playing. one hey it's did you know fucking... sal is playing power world it's fun that's so all what is I power see. world it's arc with pokemon that's it and machine guns <laughs> and and well <laughs> arc well arc had has um shotguns and shit like that yeah but the arc dinosaurs movie. can't use them yes it can no you mod it in <laughs> it's literally <laughs> pokemon with guns yeah it's just so like the, the the Sal, Here's the so thing. Huh? Sal's addicted to the game and he's been playing it. Why do you like it? Uh maybe if, more for the survival aspect. You're, you're and you build Pokemon like Pokemon slaves? You build your own like lair your own uh base or what? Yeah. It's it's and basically you, you, fucking arc with the with the, like a Pokemon uh um, mod. And your Pokemon are your slaves. Well, and do uh, like no, other Pokemon you, like uh attack your base and you have to defend it? Yeah, there's waves. There's waves. Um, the higher your um, your uh, days go, the the more often you get attacked. Okay. And it like, it's uh, based off of wherever you're at. Yeah, it's based off of wherever you're at, though. It, um, like you could be out in the world, and then you get back to town to drop some shit off. You'll immediately get attacked. It's like, hey, you got a wave mm -hmm. of of there's these uh pal free pal fanatics or some shit like that, and they'll attack your shit. Mm -hmm. How do you That's catch right, new right. pals? Uh, you use a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a capture sphere, is yeah. what it's called. No, it's Dude, that game has no shame. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, but neither does Pokemon. It has no shame. It just stole from Dragon from Dragon Warrior. <laughs> it's like why I don't understand why people are getting mad. It's like you know, you know, cars didn't have windshield wipers, so some guy invented it, and then somebody improved on that. So should windshield wipers never be improved upon? Because one asshole invented it. it I guess. The, the whole reason, the whole reason I see is a stupid argument is because they're mad that they did something that Pokemon wouldn't want to do, so improve so, their fucking game. So <laughs> by giving it's, it's been the guns. same fucking shitty but, game for like the past 15 years but dude. what's so what's the controversy exactly oh that it was stealing assets from pokemon i mean it was, like well it they've did. done they've done like side by side comparisons and did you, did you, did you did designs you read, did you read what that lady said or whoever posted that he made it up he shrunk the characters to make it fit oh did he i don't know I just saw the side by side compare, or yeah. even it's, even just the design. So you like, let's not put the uh, compare them by sizes. Mm -hmm. The designs are very similar. Very similar. Yep. You know, down to like details. They, it seems like they just yeah, kind of slightly me, which, tweak. Which maybe makes me think that or, maybe the people who made Dragon Warriors should sue Pokemon. <laughs> probably. I don't know. It's, I think Pokemon's in the right. I think they're. Oh, they, I think they should sue. Nintendo as well, huh? It's Dragon Nintendo. Warrior was Nintendo as well. I'm saying it was. Uh, I think I would think that was. Uh, was it Nintendo? World's... I think it was Nintendo. It, it was Nintendo. Yes, it was. I'm sorry. It no. was Nintendo. But yes. originally it wasn't though. Uh, yeah. Uh, was Pokemon Mango. originally. Pokemon was in originally Nintendo's property. But no, there's just... a, there's a lot of uh, a lot of characters that are similar, but then there's a lot of them that aren't, and. How many times can you copy a worm before everybody's done it right? <laughs> yeah, if, yeah. Shy Halud. It was like a lot of a lot of the Pokemon designs were based off of animals in the world, right? So nobody else has access to an armadillo. Trubbish. Nobody can make no, a yeah, character yeah. that looks like Sand Slash. You could design yeah. a you know an armadillo like a million different ways. Exactly. It looks it's exactly same. like something that came some out of, them, of a some of Nintendo do, game, but. Had that been the case, Nintendo would have sued the shit out of them. Have they done anything? I about think they're it? gathering their they're you putting their ducks in order. Ready. This game has been announced for fucking three years. Yeah, but then they're like, they're not going to release it. They're, this is yeah. a joke. And then they released it, and they're like, oh, no, here's shit. the thing: they they shut that, that, that's they Nintendo, that guy. dude. 
they shut that guy down that did the mod for putting uh, Pokemon into Power World. Oh, yeah. They actually they uh, immediately modded Pokemon into shut Power it, World. Yeah. They immediately shut that guy down. Yeah, because that they have the power to do that. Like if you if they if you actually just straight up steal directly and it's completely obvious. That's what I'm have, saying. I don't they think can just Nintendo doesn't them. have a leg to stand on, or else they would have done it. Especially now, how many copies have they sold? Nineteen yeah, dude, million. One of the biggest games like nineteen million. Jesus Christ! I guess I should try it. It's fun. It's a fun fucking game. Yeah, and they're it's supposed to add Marvel new West. features to yeah. it, right? They're adding PvP, they're adding arena fights, uh uh large raids. Yeah, and uh that's not, I mean they beat they did beat N- Nintendo into the uh open world kind of Nintendo uh, was never gonna do that. Never. And that it, like poke that's what Pokemon needed. Like it yeah. needs to be open world. They needed need an open world where you can go, hey, you know, the cliff fairies are on this mountain mm-hmm. and this and that. How about we go over there and check it out? They never did it. Why? Because they're going to keep selling you the same dried out fucking shriveled game and you're going to fucking eat it because God damn it, it's for Pokemon. That's what Nintendo's it, it, been doing for a while now. I mean, look at uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's wild, the dude. same game. It's, it's, breath, it's the exact same game. Have you collected all the, the nuts again to get a uh, golden poop? I am on, dude, I hated Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm still playing it, but I played it so much that I love it now. <laughs> oh, they got you with the brainwash. Yeah, I that's the way it works. I paid seventy. I paid seventy dollars for that game. Stockholm I'm not syndrome and shit. Yeah. You're snorting moblin <laughs> boogers, sir. You got them moblin. I'm almost done with brain. it, but fucking hey, dude, it's the exact same game. Nintendo mm-hmm. sold me the exact same game. <laughs> and he's like in his sixties now, and he's like. I can't believe that Nintendo sold me the same game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to be telling my kids, dude. Uh, Tears of the Southern Sky for yeah, the revenge. Pow- referring to Power World, I'm going to tell my kids this was Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, it's, it's fucking so much fun, dude. Like, there's this little uh, leaf chickmunk that has Uzis. Okay. <laughs> and if you, if you breed it correctly, it has... The most devastating fucking attack. It could burn down anything. <laughs> it jumps on your head and just starts fucking spraying motherfuckers down, dude. It's fucking crazy. Can you no, name, can you name your, your pals? Again. Yeah. Do you give them individual names? Uh-huh. Really? That's cool. And it, is, is it single player only? It's not like... No, it's, it's, the... it's fucking arc. You can oh, set it up is, a whole it's, fucking it's, server. It's, it's 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 it, oh, holy shit okay. now here's a here, what about this if you if your pal dies is it permadeath no no you just got to put oh, them back into your lame. into your box and it'll it'll be ko'd for like 10 minutes mm-hmm. but you could make a, bur- a butcher's knife and then slaughter your own uh your your pokemon <laughs> you can <laughs> slaughter your you pals mean? you can also slaughter um you can also capture humans slaughter. And you can slaughter them Ladder. Really? And you, and you get like leather and some uh some haunch meat or something like that. This reminded me of um playing uh what's it called? Cult of the Lamb. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, it's a, it's such like a like it's a Pokemon, right? It's such a, a such a cutesy, you know, world or whatever, but like there's lots of rampant murder and sacrifice. Well, you're, you're, you're working <laughs> for the devil. And, yeah, you're yeah. working for the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It seems similar with Power World. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just like well, yeah and then you I, got i didn't got... realize my brain like looking at those videos doesn't did it didn't or not video well some videos but mostly just images didn't convey to me that it was um you know like seven days in that we could all play mm-hmm. um oh, no, yeah. or, or pvp it's just arc like if we're, if somebody were to mod arc Oh well, well, there was that one uh, pixel pits, pixel arc, right? Where it looked pixelated like voxels. It's basically one... something similar, where it's right. just a big fucking overlay on arc. With, yeah, we uh, should make a Power Pals. World server and get everybody in there. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll rent a server and. We'll... And I wonder if Cat's playing it. Fun as fuck. Yeah, I'll have to ask her. <clears throat> I doubt no, it. it. Seems like something. I don't, I don't think. I don't think this is right up her alley. Because if she doesn't play Ark, then she's probably not. Yeah, she's not really a survival game player. Oh really? Yeah, it's not. It's no nothing like Pokemon. She dude. played. It's... She played. Um, 
seven days with us and maybe mm-hmm. a couple of things with friends yeah. but like but yeah that's not well, it's just it's me based on her being a fan of pokemon yeah. well yeah, no uh, this is furthest it, thing from fucking pokemon yeah, it, it, doesn't, the only, it doesn't actually play like a the pokemon only real thing that like said, about pokemon like, is is the pokeballs that's it like the, the, the mechanics are getting closer to like seven days or rest or mm-hmm. uh, other games like that it sounds like right but yeah, the, the animals are cutesy, which is horrible because one of them is like, a, I think it's called um, sheep ball or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a fluff. And then if you train it, if you give it its trait, you can use it as a shield. But you hold it out in front of you and the thing is like fucking yelling and screaming and shit like it's in pain. It's so terrible. It's, fucking, it's terrible. <laughs> literally just you grab it by the fucking hair and hold it in front of you so it could take all the damage and then it has a, a distressed look on its face <laughs> it's crazy but it's fucking fun dude it's such a good game all right you've convinced me we'll play maybe we'll play some power world this weekend i, sh- I have a lot of time on my hands i need something to do Man, you're completely lost when Heather's not around. It's like, yeah, dude, I have nothing. You just stand there in you're your, your <laughs> chonies and shit. Like, ah, I'm Honey, like, you're like John, that fun. John Travolta fucking <laughs> meme where he's like looking around <laughs> in, your, in your fucking underwear and shit, just standing around there in your slippers. Like, but left to my own devices, dude. It's whiskey, weed, video games, and masturbation, and I can't stop. It's a problem. That seems like a, a more fulfilling life. <laughs> Yeah, it is actually. It's quite nice. No, just lay around with it, your dude, dick it's in like, your hand, it's like, some whiskey in the other. It's like, it's like when you go, if you have any experience with Vegas, for you guys or the listeners, um, the first time you go to Vegas, it's awesome, right? And and it, you know, you're worn down after a few days, four days, or whatever. But then if you go to Vegas again. Two or three time, two or three more times, you get to the point where it's like I I can't stand Vegas for more than like a day, like two days. <laughs> like it's <laughs> it's I guess just getting old. Like it's like it's terrible. Like it's, and are you saying that's how Heather feels about you? That's why she she left. No, I'm saying I'm saying that what I'm doing now is like that. I can only sustain it for I have oh, to slow yeah, down yeah. a little it's, bit. It's I can't unsustainable. Sustain it yeah. <laughs> Your liver can't take that kind of. Get a abuse. weekend and then and a weekend of bender and that's it. I'm, I'm done. I gotta go no. back to eat being healthy again. Do that in like <laughs> every five years. <laughs> yeah, just to knock a year off. It takes of takes five years to recover. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, all I have to say that's about. That's all that. I have to say about that. What? Yeah, There's a lot, a lot of. Uh, <clears throat> I should have talked about the um, massive amounts of fucking layoffs that have been happening too in the game industry. Yeah, but that happens like all the time. This this year has been fucking horrible. It's been the worst. It's, normally, it would take like a full year to get this amount of layoffs. They did it in the first first two months. Boom, like a wow. something like. 86 i would imagine it's just people. the progression of the industry right mm-hmm. they're like yeah oh, you we know can save more money if we get rid of them sooner a lot of companies you know bolster up for like a game and then really once the game, game release is over play. then you know that's pretty much what it is the restructuring yeah. is um <clears throat> not to not to sound so bleak on this strength in gaming episode there are plenty of games that we like to play we just don't talk about them specifically very often because it would just because we keep playing them over and over be again. like rain man and it's the same thing over and over again yeah <laughs> definitely yeah. yeah yeah so like you know for me like it's hunt eve uh, and uh magic the gathering uh, that's why game designers no. should unionize should and maybe they wouldn't have to go through with all this shit yeah and then maybe real games might be getting made again but we'll see we'll see yeah it's like the industrial uh, industrial complex now with where, where it is with the gaming mm-hmm just the peons get let go before anybody else. I think it's important to mention that uh, Carl Weathers passed away today. Yeah, and uh, and uh, he has done a couple voiceovers for video games. He He's done. He was man. in Mortal Kombat 10, Red Faction, Transformers, Mercenaries. Man, and, that's an old uh, game. Rocky. Uh, the Rocky games, 
<clears throat> and of course, all the Rocky mo- uh, movies, Ro- the Rocky series. Well, yeah, of uh, course. He, I guess he, he has a first one. pretty big resume with movies. Yeah, but like, yeah, and then Predator. The way they get the South here, that gift uh, from Predator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dylan, you oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> He's a really cool dude. Yeah. That's sad. He wasn't yeah. that old either. 76. No, 76, man. Yeah, that's not... That's not. That sucks. That's what sucks about getting old is because you're going to see more death the older you get. And it's Yeah, no, no, yeah. You can see the spiral coming towards you as you get older. Yeah. So I mean, when I, I go, see... I'm going to take a lot of people with me. Yeah, make sure you take all of us with you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like that that old dude in um, Poltergeist. <laughs> Alrighty, Carolyn. I think that's it. That's all we have for that's today, it. folks. Um, some morbid thoughts at the end, and uh, yeah, good night, you motherfucking nerds. Good night, Buenas noches. Yeah. Thank you so much to all the nerds that listened. You can find us at strengthengaming.com or email us at info at strcast.com. 